तो वी आर लुकिंग एट द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज ऑफ क्रिएटिंग एंड मेंटेनिंग डेटा बेस वेबसाइट डेटा बेस एनेबल्ड वेबसाइट ओके एंड इवन इफ इट्स नॉट डेटा बेस एनेबल्ड एंड इट विल बिकम डेटा बेस एनेबल्ड यू हैव टू बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट द नेमिंग कन्वेंशन वाई नेमिंग कन्वेंशन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट एयर नंबर ऑफ रीजन फॉर इट ओके से फॉर बिकॉज द थिंग इज दैट यू आर डिवेलपिंग योर वेबसाइट नॉट इन रियल टाइम ऑनलाइन ओके यू आर डिवेलपिंग इट on your uh, in certain environment and then you upload them right or not and the thing is that uh, even if you for for a certain kind of environment you were not doing this even if you are renaming your files very soon you will lose track you will have similar files with different names okay or different files with same name it will be a disaster because there are not few files there are quite a few number of files and the complexity grows then is the version control so what uh, is the module coverage it is it is before you uh, renaming uh, the files it should not be done uh, this is that uh, uh, 8.3 8.3 uh, kind of a methodology of naming which is very restrictive okay it's from the old days of dos i will talk about it and being restrictive has its own advantages keeping track of the files what were the names of the files where they are placed and so on and establishing directories and folders to ensure you know where something is and of course to avoid renaming and changing and is the reversioning so uh, the details never ever rename the files never ever okay moving the files to another directory okay with the same name this is same as renaming the files because you 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 know that okay this is the directory this is directory a this is directory b say for example and both directories have a file with the same name okay and you will say that using the path i can differentiate them but at the end of the day it is same as renaming the files don't do this now a web based a web based a, a application which is for the web is complex and it gets more complex when you have a database connected to it okay this is the point over here database connected at the back end it becomes more complex why because there is more diversity there is more diversity and there is limited freedom on the web, on the website because uh, there is that directory in which you have this access and within that you are doing as per the permission as opposed to your own computer as opposed to your own a development environment where you can do all sorts of things you are the complete freedom so you don't expect that kind of freedom will be available to you where you are hosting your application it will not be there and varying uh, naming and moving conventions like people have different uh, likes and dislikes or personalities the way in which they speak the way in which they can maybe uh, identify certain things so different computers and different operating systems they have their own kind of uh, unique environments okay and the naming conventions will vary so you have to take into all of this into account otherwise it's a chaos and very soon you will be kind of drowning in that chaos 8.3 and capitalization what is 8.3 most restrictive program for example this example 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay you can see over here You have three over here and over here three over here so six and seven so not more than eight this is the dot this is the dot okay and this is the file extension three this is the most restrictive naming convention so it is available and it is going to be supported most likely on different environments mac os what it does it does it takes the suffix from the inside the file from there it takes the suffix suffix is what is coming after the dot and in unix there are multiple suffix a.3 works for most platforms now unix is case sensitive unix is case sensitive okay uh, i don't know so uh, which you i believe you understand so in unix for example as is not same as as and is not same as you understand now remember that this is one thing don't expect all the operating systems to be case sensitive if you have to use case you are not using the case to differentiate between the names 
but to make it more readable okay readability only then you are using the case keeping track of files folders folders may disappear on a website where it is loaded where it is work it has happened it can happen to you also so what you need to do is record what is placed where and you keep that record in a database at your end on your computer okay and critical for rec rec recovering from accidental housekeeping activities so you keep that backup what was placed where and if you and of course you also keep what what actually was there not only what was placed there but you keep a backup listing also you you i believe you understand the difference between them one is the the structure you keep record and of course the backup which we have covered in the previous module so why because it may so happen that you accidentally make deletion so you have to be careful about it establishing directories and special purpose folder directory hierarchy to avoid renaming the point over here is that for example uh, if you say there is a, a, a file name say orders and then you have a file name dot uh, receipts say for example so and you make these uh, file names like this it is better that you have a directory and in that main directory you have a directory of uh, corresponding to those file names and then you place the corresponding data or files under those subdirectories then you know what you are looking for where it is located okay and don't mix directories don't mix directories web services uh, they can uh, by default they have they are uh, programmed and designed and developed to access data from a certain default file structure uh, file structure and hierarchy of the directory structure also now if you mix the directories it will confuse it will make it difficult for the web server within each directory place the files default.htm index.htm home.htm because then it prevents from displaying the contents it will show the contents of these files use special folders for revisioning now remember one thing that something goes which which you would like to do professionally that you put the update date on the page that might go against you bad for in because there are certain pages which don't change over a period of time that would give an impression to the visitor to your website that it is outdated it is not outdated that page does not change frequently so put that into a hidden field put it into into the header so when you put it into the head head tags then it will not display to the visitor but you can check the head tag in the contents and know and of course a database support versioning also you should know it keep use of it make use of it and that will help you manage your complex application web based database application that is what i have the message for you in this module